Hello gamers, and welcome back to Let's Play Challenge of the Five Realms. Now we are, we just got finished with all Viola. Uh, there's a couple little things left to do in there, but they're from places we haven't visited yet. Just little minor things. Bring somebody a book, and I think that's it. Just bring him this one book that I actually just discovered you do in all Viola in the previous video. But, for now, um, before we go to the next realm, there's one thing I want to do to try and finish up some stuff in Alonia. Uh, and give you all a chance to actually choose which realms you want me to visit in what order. So, for now, we're going to go ahead and go through Alonia with our trusty teleport spell. Uh, we're gonna have Stellarex use it, of course. And the place I want to go to now is Havenshire. Grevnoth watches my progress with anger. Now, if y'all want to see me go to the Elven Realm, Freywood, the Sky Realm, Arius, or the Water Realm, Thalassi. Just put in a comment which realm you'd like to see next, and I'll make that our next venture. But for now, we are going to move on through Havenshire, the home of the beautiful yet dangerous Phoenix. I joined you to fight Grimnoth, not solve all of your realm's problems for you. Don't worry, I'm just going to let you die. It's okay. This village is under protection of the mighty Phoenix, a legendary beast whose true nature I have never discovered. Good to know. Let's make our points look around here a bit. Let's see what we can find out. This is kind of a native American type village. If you notice, all the people in here seem a lot like Native Americans. Talk to this guy. The phoenix has always protected my flocks from predators. Uh, shepherd. But since the phoenix changed, it now hunts my lambs with a vengeance. I had 50 sheep and lambs less than two weeks ago. Now I have only three lambs left. The phoenix is going to drive me into poverty. Okay. Phoenix not protecting so much anymore. I don't know if anyone can stop the Phoenix. I'm tired of hearing about magic, armor, swords, and shields. We need to do something before the monster destroys our entire village. I wish the giant would come from the peak of Mount Shaska. Giant. And tangle with the Phoenix. The giant once defeated the Cyclops on the mountain. We could hear the battle from here. Some say he is the greatest warrior ever. He may not have a brain, but he does have muscle, and that's what we need. All these TPs and nobody to talk to. Look like a Lambshire guy. And it is! And on the final day of darkness, Vindrite will devour the hearts and souls of man. He will tell them that it is their fault that the darkness won. It was their hedonism, their screams of soulless passion, and the cries of the poor and starving that attracted his attention. Hear me, people of Havenshire. The phoenix is a small problem compared to the wrath of Vindrite. The phoenix senses the darkness. All hope is lost. Burn down your village and create light. You know, I'm tired of you loudmouths. Why don't you try to do something to help solve the crisis instead of preaching doom and death? Our situation is not hopeless. Just shut up. Go back to South Frost and stick your head in an icy lake. Do you see what I mean, people of Havenshire? Our world is full of hostility and anger. It will intensify as the fires burn. Soon we will gnaw in each other's skulls. Take this pen, brother. I don't give it to you because I love you. I give it to you so you can prick yourself over and over, see your blood, and realize that the end is near. Doom, doom, doom! Bug off! Stick that pen in your eye. The world has heard enough of your maniacal shouts. Did I talk to you? Yes, I did. 
And I already talked to you, so I don't want to talk to you again. So keep on moving. There we go. Phoenix has been terrorizing our village. Most of the villagers have fled in fear. It's very hard to explain to children why something that has always been a source of security and protection could suddenly turn into an agent of destruction. What can I tell my children? I don't have answers to give them. For now, I will fight by the side of my husband, Ashgar, and try to defeat the Phoenix. Nothing in here. Why do I even put an empty building in there? I don't understand. Ashgar, tell me, sir, what do you know about the Phoenix's behavior? For countless generations, my family has passed down the story of the Phoenix. Some say the Phoenix is older than Alonia itself. A thousand years ago, the Phoenix was an untamed beast that wreaked havoc on the mountainous areas of Alonia. But a hero named Tyro tamed the beast and made it Havenshire's guardian. My great-grandfather told me that Tyro wore a magic suit of armor, wielded the sword of Malachor, and carried the shield of Blotgar when he tamed the beast. The armor is in the museum, but the shield and sword were never recovered. My great-grandfather told me that the sword and shield were buried in Havenshire. He even said there was a map that used to be in the museum, but it was stolen by a notorious sailor 50 years ago. Some say the map has been passed down through a family of sailors that lived in a harbor village. I've never been able to find the map. I believe that the artifacts are hidden somewhere. They are probably the only clues about how to stop the phoenix. I don't know why strangers like you insist on coming to our village when we're facing such dangerous crises. I told the same thing to the other two strangers I saw gawking about. Havenshire is not a sideshow. Go away and find your entertainment elsewhere. And take those two strangers with you. What two strangers? Tell me, sir, what seems to be the confusion here? I saw many people fleeing the village on the way here. Haven't you heard the news? The phoenix has gone mad. It is rampaging through the village. Do you know the legend of the phoenix? I heard stories about the phoenix when I was a boy. But please, sir, tell me what you know. I've never met anyone who has actually lived in Havenshire with the phoenix. Well, legend says that far, for as long as Aloni has existed, the phoenix has been the guardian of Havenshire. But the phoenix didn't always have a friendly disposition. Have you ever heard the myth about the hero Tyro, Tyro and the phoenix? Vaguely, please refresh my memory. While well, the storytellers say that the phoenix was once a wild beast that roamed this mountainous countryside, but a young hero named Tyro donned a magic suit of armor, carried a magic sword and shield, and faced the phoenix. It was an epic battle, but Tyro tamed the phoenix, and it became the protector of Havenshire and its people. The magic armor is on display in the museum. It's probably all just a crazy story, but I wonder if the phoenix could have reverted to its old ways. I can't stay in the village much longer. The phoenix nearly destroyed my home last night. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me, stranger. I will investigate this matter further. Now, I know exactly... Get away from that. This is the phoenix. We do not want to f with it right now. As I was saying... I know exactly where all the magical items I need are, but for the sake of this let's play, I'm not, I mean I could finish this game in two days, honestly, but I'm trying to show you all exactly how to get the stuff that you need to do the game correctly, which is how I originally did the game was, of course, correctly. You know, besides my first playthrough where I just killed everybody that had what I needed, but that's besides the point. My whole point now is to show you exactly how you do everything in this game. And as you've seen, you know, I've already learned one new thing in the game. With that book, I need to bring to Aviola. You look like a stranger to this village. Excuse me, stranger. What are your thoughts on the phoenix? Get away from me. I have nothing to say about the phoenix or anything else. Okay. Please don't bother me. I'm trying to read. I enjoy reading myself. What book are you reading? 
None of your business. Now kind of leave me alone before I lose my patience with you. He you avoids your gaze and continues to stare at the ground. What's your stories? He said, leave me alone. This is your last warning, boy. Can't get close enough. There we go. I bet you would take the time to talk to me if you knew I were the King Alonia. That's it. Don't try to play games with me, boy. I suppose the priest from the cathedral sent you to kill me. Ah. Well, try if you dare. Galan taught me the fine art of black sorcery, and I can defeat you or anyone else they send. Galan will rise in power as Alonia is destroyed by chaos and anarchy. Galan will, she will be worshipped. Look for yourself. There's a plague of darkness destroying the land. The king is dead. The population is in the state of panic, and the phoenix, which has always guarded this village, has become its worst enemy. Galan's black magic is working. The world is falling into a helpless state of disorder. Oh. And they want to fight me. No, just him. Okay. Well. I believe I gave Sir... Oh, why did I put my king so close to him? That is just stupid. Archers. I'm just glad the phoenix didn't decide to join in on this battle. Okay, and that's pretty much all we can do with that. King of Ramakan. Oh, I wish I had him right inside of the die. I'm going to try my luck on quick combat. We can always load it. Just a wizard, anyway. As long as he doesn't explode my king, I think we'll be okay. I wonder why the other guy didn't join in. These have to be the two strangers that one guy was talking about. And this is an yet another thing that I have never noticed in the game. These two guys in this village. Pendant of Echis. Ah, that could be... Okay. Alright, let's go talk to you again. You threatened me, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. Someone sent you, didn't they? Somehow you found out we're hiding here. Galan has taught me enough magic to kill you. I warned you. So. Throughout the game, you're going to run into these... Cultists of Galan, so to speak. Um, basically, they are people who believe Galan is this big supreme being. Galen used to be from this village, Havenshire. It makes sense that he would be here. Uh, let's see. But I do believe all the time I've gone through this game, but there's always been two that I never found. I think these may be this, that too. You gotta gather these pendants for people of Echis. But we'll get to that when we go to Echis. Alright, continuing on. As I was saying, I know where all the magical things I need are, but we do not know because we have not got the map the one guy was talking about that reveals the locations. Uh, if you remember, when I was in Alveola, I came across a lady who talked about Avatar barging into her house and causing all kinds of crap and her making him leave. And I said, I found it kind of funny. I'm about to show you why. I've heard rumors that King Clasador is dead. If that's true, that makes you the king. You can't fool me. I remember every face. You're the king's son. I saw you once in a royal parade, so tell me, are you the king? Yes, it is true. I am on a quest to save our land from the plague of darkness. Well, I'll tell you another rumor that I've heard. Duke Gorman has claimed a throne. I would say you have quite a dilemma on your hands. Yes, I do. Ah, who's this? Great Tyro attained the phoenix when it was a wild entity. Now Havenshire needs a new hero to face the phoenix. It has gone from protector to destroyer. Whoops. I don't know about you, but that guy shouting in the white robe has me worried. Ah, he's the one I killed, I think. 
What if he's right? What if we're all doomed? Oh no, that's Lamsha guy. Maybe this plague of darkness really will end all. I feel like I'm going to vomit and lose control of my bladder at the same time. What am I going to do? Get a grip on yourself, sir. You must be brave for the women and children. You can't worry about what some maniac shouts in the street. Those priests have been in South Frost so long that their brains have frozen. Stand firm and be a man. Good words, good words. Sounds like the music just messed up on the game by chance. Yeah, it did. okay, it's fixed now. But now, I talked about earlier about Avatar, the guy who the lady in Alviola was speaking about. I have never found a use for this guy in the game other than just a little comic relief, but we're gonna go ahead and talk to him now. Young Heroic Avatar. Prithee, good sir, canst thou tell me where I can rest my weary, aching bones? I seem to be terribly lost. Gee, you talk funny. It's hard to understand you, to answer your questions. You are in the Kingdom of Alonia. More specifically, you are in the village of Havenshire. Who are you, stranger? Now, those of you who know, um, in the Ultima games, specifically like Ultima 7 and such like that, your name is Avatar. That's who you are. It's the character you control. Okay? Who are you, stranger? I am the young, heroic Avatar. Methinks I've been thrust, in, thrust into yet another strange world. Each time I set out to enjoy a rest, I find myself in yet another misadventure. I know it's not how I came to be here. I laid my head upon my soft pillow, but I began to swoon. The walls seemed to rush by me. Twas as if I were in a nightmare where there was no substance, no one who talked, just monsters who attacked me over and over and over. And then I awoke from my restless slumber and found myself here. Who is the king of this land? It just so happens that I am the king of this land. My father was recently killed by a mysterious necromancer, and I'm trying to save the world from a plague of darkness that the evil wizard cast. Fie! Will my adventuring days ever end? Take no offense, Liege of Alonia, but I canst not join thee in this quest. I have been through seven or eight epic adventures of mine own, and I'm quite disillusioned. Canst thou understand my plight? I have battled monsters, fought armies, cast spells, wooed women, and picked up more heavy objects than I canst remember. I'm tired of dragging around hundreds of pounds of strange items that obscure characters want. What dost thou get in the end? A hernia? An aching back? Oh yes, I suppose the satisfaction of saving the world, but that wears thin after the second or third time. I want a life of simplicity, a soft chair in a cozy hamlet, a fine pipe, the occasional roast beef, a glass of mead against monks' friends at a tiny pub, the love of a good woman. Thou simply canst not have that life if thou art an adventurer. I would join thee on that quest. But methinks my adventuring days have come to an end. Don't sweat it, young heroic avatar. You wouldn't be much good to me anyway. You're too burned out. But you probably have an adventure or two left in you. Rest up. Maybe we'll meet again someday. And they never did! I'm gonna talk to him again. Beware of the life that thou hast chosen, young king. The life of an adventurer affords no rest. Thou art on a path of no return. Farewell. I thank thee for thy time. Now. Uh... On my first playthrough, I thought this guy was, you know, somewhat important. You know, young heroic avatar. I had never played the Ultimate games. So I tried absolutely everything to get him to join me and tried casting all kinds of spells. And with that, I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you cast a friend spell on someone the spell is not meant for. Which I did on my first or second playthrough with Avatar here. And I've come to accept that he does not join you. But. Making a friend. After casting the spell, Young Heroic Avatar begins grinning stupidly at you. Young Heroic Avatar will remain your best friend far longer than you desire. In fact, it looks like it's going to be a long relationship. So let's talk to him now. Friends don't grow on trees, you know. That's why I always like to stay in touch. Hi, friend. It's me again. Miss me? Hi, friend. Just think of all the fun times we'll have together when you're done with this quest of yours. Alright, so, as you're going to see throughout the game, certain things are going to happen based on what we just did. Until then, I'll just let you speculate. But for now, let's continue through Havenshire here and see what we can find out. Just make sure I hit all these buildings.
two people. Young heroic avatar. I know you don't have time to chat, just wanted to remind you that you're in my thoughts. He just starts popping up everywhere. Everywhere you go, he just ends up being there. It's like, how did, how did you even get to this realm? I mean, you, I mean, come on. And it will get rather annoying. But he just pops up everywhere. Anyway. Oh, my heart is broken. My son, Galen, was the high priest of the Cathedral of Echis. I was so proud. But now he has vanished, and there are ugly rumors that he has abandoned his faith and become a sorcerer. It just can't be true. Not my Galen. I did everything a good mother could do. I taught him. I beat the fear of God into him when he needed it. How could he have gone astray? Sorry to hear that, ma'am. I hope you're reunited with your son. Some even said that Galen cast a plague of darkness on Alonia. If he did, and I get my hands on him, I'll paddle his behind. Continuing on. Oh, I think I have hit every place so far. And there's Avatar again. Can't wait until I meet my mom and dad. And can't wait until you meet my mom and dad. Follows you everywhere. Watch out for the phoenix. But I need to go up here, so here we go. And there he is again. As I said, he shows up everywhere. Let's prick our fingers and become blood brothers. Excuse me. I am interested in knowing about the phoenix. Do you think its aggressive behavior could be related to the plague of darkness? It's not the best person to ask about the legend of the phoenix. One of the villagers, Ashgar, is a local expert on all the myths. His family has been passing down the story of the phoenix for centuries. You look very familiar to me. Where have I seen you before? You have probably seen me at Castle Ballytoak. I am the son of King Clesidor. I am the new king of Alonia. So the rumors of the king's death are true. If I were you, I would walk carefully. There are many rumors concerning the king's death. Some say you killed your father with sorcery. Others say Duke Gorman captured you and claimed the throne. You asked me if the king's if the phoenix destructive behavior could be related to the Plague of Darkness. I don't know. I suppose it could be. The legend of Tyro the Tamer says that he wore the armor of Valor, wielded the sword of Malachor, and carried the magic shield of Blotgar against the phoenix when he tamed it. The armor of Valor is usually on display here, but I've hidden it. I can't risk losing it to a thief at this crucial time. As for the sword and the shield, they've never been discovered. Some say there is a map that leads to a secret burial site. Asgard almost knows more about that. The armor of valor, sword of Malachor, and shield of Blotgar could help me defeat the being who struck down my father and threatened the kingdom. Will you consider giving me the armor of valor to use? If you do, I promise to battle the phoenix. I will consider giving you the armor, but only if you bring me proof that you can stop the phoenix. You could be lying about your identity, trying to obtain the armor for your own gain. Show me that the phoenix can be stopped and I will give you the armor of valor. Will you trade me proof for the armor? Of course, but I don't have it yet and you're just going to tell me that I don't have it. You don't have any proof that the phoenix can be stopped. I can't give up the armor of valor unless I'm sure there is a way to destroy or tame the phoenix. Now, and little avatar. Let's go drink some beers and have some laughs. Alright, so. We know that what we need to do is find the sword, shield, and proof that the phoenix can be stopped. So what we need to do is we need that map that Ashgar talked about in a harbor village. Now we've already been to Pendar. And we have not seen any map. And we talked to absolutely everybody. I even killed everybody in that village. In a off camera, of course. But I killed everybody in that village. And then I restored my game. But I killed everybody and there was no map. So that village, that's the only other harbor village besides this one we're going to now. Of course, on this one, we're going to have to be careful as well. Just like in the last one, thieves are everywhere. You stand at the edge of a harbor village where sailors, along with certain thugs and rowdies, gather before setting sail for distant shores. Looks like we could have some fun here. Let's find an inn and stay a few days. I am familiar with Galraven. One can buy and sell many things here.
tavern first. And let's check my money. 723, same as before, okay? Looking good. Let me guess who that little bugger is. I know of your recent difficulties and your need for money. I've long had this map, which leads to a great buried treasure, so I was told by the man who sold it to me. It is written in a language unknown to me, and I have never found a person in Galraven who could translate it. I am an old man, without the strength to follow this map to its treasure. I only need enough money to keep myself housed and fed. Will you give me 50 gold pieces? Or Yes. You won't regret this. The map can earn you a fortune. The map has been placed in your trunk. That's, of course, Avatar. I always wanted a big brother just like you. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Honestly, I could not remember exactly where I got the map from. I just knew that it was in Galraven. And, of course, it's going to be the first guy we speak to. I think this is the wrong map right here. Uh, for the center of the minute, yeah, that's the first one from Farinor we used earlier. Oh, the map's going to be at the bottom of the trunk. Okay, let's take a look. Appears to be a map of some kind, but you're unable to decipher its meaning. There we go. A map that tells of a treasure hidden in a mountain village. The ancient inscription is faded, but you can make out the following words. South of the water springs, on the bank of the river, it is buried. Okay, let's put this back in here. Now, I'm going to go through Galraven later. Uh, it's just sheer luck. We got what we needed. You know, the first person we talked to coming here. But, there you go. That actually makes this Let's Play work out pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and teleport our butts right back to Havenshire. We'll come back to Galraven later. Never been to Havenshire before. The people seem less civilized. The Phoenix is none of our concern. Well, we're making it our concern. All right. South of the water springs, on the bank of the river, it is buried. Now. Every single time I try to find, here's the water springs, of course. Every single time I try to find this, I never get it right away. This one you have to keep searching and searching and searching to get. But, let's take a look. Oh, well, first try. Shield of Blotgar. There's one. Same spot again, nothing. One magical sword. Okay. Nothing. 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 Oops. Nothing. Like I said, this one's going to take a while. Oops. You're going to see me get the same spots over and over. people would give up, but I know it's here. There we go. After a short time digging, you find one unknown book, which is now in your inventory. And I've dug here for a lot after this to see if there's just anything else. There's not. It's only those three items. Alright. Uh, and actually, we're going to go to my strongest character. Um, Old Castle, 206. He's not the strongest, so Balakor, you are the one who's gonna or gonna use this stuff. 
Let's go ahead into our trunk. Looks like a gladius. Sword used by the legendary warrior Tyro when he tamed the phoenix and made it to the protector of Havenshire. Sword of Malachor, even though it just says magical sword. One shield of Bloodgar. Alright, so he's got two of the three items, and we're about to look and see at that unknown book. Let's take a look at that. Entries to Sir Crayer's diary include mentions about the warrior Tyra's great battle with the phoenix. Apparently, Sir Crenyar had discovered that when the phoenix goes mad, it must be killed in order for it to regenerate into a greater form. So there you go, it has to be killed. Now, you would think having the sword and the shield would be enough for this bastard in the damn museum to give you the armor? No. You gotta dig and you gotta find that book. It's pretty ridiculous. And you know, you might get the book on the first as the first thing you dig up. And hello again. How long has it been? Oh, about two minutes. Too long, I say. Anyway, you go and this guy will not give you the armor until you have that damn book. It's it's ridiculous. But it's how the game was designed. And again, it's just like the sagas. My prince has come. Again, like I said, friends for life. Be very careful with that friend spell. I will consider giving you the armor, but only if you bring me proof that can stop the phoenix. Would you be lying? Will you trade me proof for the armor? Yes. This diary proves that the phoenix can be tamed again. With the shield of Blockar, the sword of Malachor, and the armor of Valor, you can kill the phoenix so it can rise again in mightier form to protect Havenshire. Take the armor of Valor. It is yours to use. Alright, so now I got that. Now, I usually always put this on my king, but usually I make my king very strong by hacking into the game, which I'll take. I'll show you in a future Let's Play, but we're going through this one completely legit. So I'm giving it to our strongest character, which is Sir Valakor. And where's the armor? Let's see, I must have passed it. Twice. One armor of valor. The armor worn by the legendary warrior Tyro when he tamed the phoenix and made it the protector of Havenshire. Looks just like plate armor, full, full plate armor, but it is armor of valor. Alright. Now, he's also a good magic user. Alright, so now I have everything I need. So let's save the game before we do this, because the phoenix is not easy, and if you actually try and kill the phoenix without these three items, you get destroyed absolutely destroyed there's there's no way you can never kill it but anyway we're gonna say this is Phoenix and now let's find her and put Sir Valakor up against her King over here, John Kiss over here, and Sir Valakor. I think that is all we need. I think just Sir Valakor is the only one who can hurt it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my casters here in case he needs any spells. Stellar X. Okay. Now, issue orders, Sir Valakor. Acquire a new target, the Phoenix. Continue. And let's hope he doesn't cast spells, he actually attacks. Hate to have to restore my game, but I will if I need to. And it's that simple. However, if I did not have those three items, this battle would never end. And now... Hello, Avatar. I know you don't have time to chat, just wanted to remind you that you're in my thoughts. Ever since I friended him the first time, every playthrough, I've always cast a friend spell on him. I don't I don't know why. I did not mean to do that. Kinda escaped the town there. By accident. 
All right. So there was buried treasure after all. Now we know the secret of the phoenix. We'll have to document the phoenix generation behavior in more detail for future generations. Okay. I thought I remembered the phoenix being bigger. Um, that's kind of odd. Yeah, the phoenix usually comes back bigger after you kill it. Now it's the same size. Must be a glitch. Could be because I just left the town. But anyway, the phoenix is taken care of. We got three new magical items. And we can continue on our quest. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the Let's Play here. Hello, Avatar again. And... I will see y'all later. Hit that like button if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more. See you later.